what's up it's Chris the King and I'm gonna show you how to get a loan from the 401k at Walmart okay first of all I don't suggest that you do this but in some situations everybody's situation is different if you have to you can do it policy became effective February 1st 2016 and it allows most Walmart associates to borrow a general purpose loan a minimum of $1,000 from their 401k to begin the process you must apply on Merrill Lynch website I'll leave the links below if you want to apply for it so they allow you to get a general purpose loan and a residential loan for the purpose of paying towards a residence the links below so that you can apply for it and read the fine print to see for yourself see if this is something that you want to do and I'm gonna try to get a loan or attempt to get a loan or show you how much you're gonna have to pay back so let's begin I'm on benefits.ml.com Merrill Lynch and I have almost 1400 in my account but unfortunately I am unable to take from it but let's try let's see the loan options the general purpose loans there is no money available in your account to process a loan Let's just say I did want to, let's model it, model a general purpose loan. So even if you can't, you can still see that your capabilities once you actually reach the minimum amounts. I think you need 2,000. So let's try, um, if I wanted 5,000 payment frequency bi-weekly number of payments how many payments do i want nah, let's stretch it out 130 all right let's see and so your expected bi-weekly payment to be deducted from your check so if you wanted five thousand dollars they would take out 44 dollars per check if i just wanted two thousand dollars they would take a uh, 17 dollars and 72 cents interest rate of 5.75 let's see what 26 weeks we just want to get it over with yikes well they would take about eighty dollars per check. Wow, well, again, interest rate the same. I mean, it depends on how you want to pay it. If you want to pay the seventeen, or you want to pay the seventy-nine. So, if you wanted to borrow one thousand dollars, that would give you one hundred and thirty payments of eight dollars and eighty-six cent. And let's actually look at that because it's not too bad. The compounded interest charge would be one hundred and fifty-one dollars. Yeah, it's a couple of years, five years. Yeah, so over five years, and then the interest, the interest goes down each payment, which which makes it wonderful so you start at 221 but then it goes down to dollar so every time you're paying it off your the interest is getting lower and lower so just keep paying it and hopefully if you ever do have to borrow some money let it be for a good cause and it's up to you it's your decision I'm not gonna touch it I'm gonna leave it there first of all I have to reach the minimum amount to even cash out and I haven't reached that yet so I'm getting there I'm building up but there's also a one-time fee of $50 for the application so think I'm away think I'm away think I'm away better say that money say that money say that money say that money say say that money say say that so the best option is to save your money um keep letting it build up but i just want you to know that if you had a dire emergency then and you really needed it then i don't mind you taking it out but if you're just going to buy some shoes or jewelry or just have a great time and you want to impress somebody that's not a good idea the purpose of the 401k is for your future your future investments you're investing in yourself for the future so don't take away from the future it's like you're time traveling to the future and when you get there there's nothing because you decided to have fun now so save now be comfortable later live within your means there's more to life than what you see